Hey viewers, this is Alex Hughes and I'm checking in. I've been working on a couple projects with the computer. Um, today I'm actually working with the five and a quarter inch floppy. Uh, here it is. This is actually taken out from an AST computer that I had. Um, I grandpa had anyways. Uh, it hasn't been used probably for about 20 years or so. I have the case open because of how difficult this was to actually fit in. I wanted to fit it into one of these drive bays, but uh, I had a hard time with the connections. I ran um, the floppy drive cables here uh, into the computer and the power cable was really easy to install. It has some strange ribbon, I would say, um, connected to the five and a quarter inch floppy. Luckily, I ha we still have some samples left. I have to be honest, you know, I, I made it in an earlier video. We did, I did, I did destroy a lot of them because at the time, um, I was under the belief that they were obsolete. I mean, while that is true, um, they definitely have some significance that I've um, learned over the years. So I'm going to try a Microsoft Flight Simulator. I, the amazing thing is this is Dell Precision with Windows XP um, updated to um, Service Pack 3. And surprisingly, it actually um, recognizes that there is a floppy drive disk installed which even the um, Windows XP Home Edition from 2001 didn't even recognize. This is from 2005 um, the motherboard and the BIOS so it's kind of interesting to see how the one from 05 actually recognizes it but the one from 2001 older um, older BIOS doesn't even recognize it so it's I, I thought it was funny when I first learned it that <laughs> Windows XP when Windows XP thinks something is old it's got to be old <laughs> so um, I'm using Omnibus, Omniflop right now and I'm gonna see whether or not it can actually read one of these floppy disk drives because I got an error message with um, a formatting issue uh, I've had that issue before with USB drives when I've plugged them in but um, I really want to see if it'll read it through this so continue on watching and let's I'll check in again and see what happens. Hey viewers, I'm using um, Omniflop and I've been able to save a few images of some of the files that were on the floppy disk. Um, the cool thing is that this actually works so I have it hooked up um, via the floppy disk drive. Um, this is right here, and that's connected through IDE um, on the floppy disk controller on the motherboard. Um, so right now, it's copying the image of the data that's on the floppy drive to the computer. And then I'm going to use um, a product called 7-Zip to actually be able to um, read the files. So that's working right now. And this floppy disk is actually uh, PC disk tools. Some sort of um, utilities you could probably use at one point. So I'm gonna try to do that with a disk. I got several um, floppy drives still around. So I'm gonna take a look at them and hopefully be able to use the software. I would say that this is probably one of the coolest parts is when you actually get to see the floppy disk um, drive do its work. It almost looks like it's vibrating here. Um, and I think it might be spinning the floppy disk actually around. Kind of reminds me of a CD when you put the CD in the drive tray and then the laser is um, reading off the disk, it's spinning around. So that's what I kind of think of a floppy as. A floppy disk as is a literally a flexible piece of plastic that spins around, whereas a CD or DVD is more, it's a harder piece of plastic. And, um, oh, that's pretty cool. I think it's gonna start reading it, yep. Not exactly sure what the Hansel format is, but it sounds German. Um, I don't know what to name this because there's no title on the software, so I'll just pick something related. It says Byte Shop somewhere in 
somewhere in Oceanside. Well, that's where it was called the Bite Shop.